I am deadly with a pen. Call me Kira if I touch it, it's bomb. Call me Kira, I'm a god eater. Call me killer if my name in it, they gonna call me Villa. And that's facts. You know how to act. I'm so to pulling up in all black. Mr. Guido, cause I gotta stay strapped. Similar to the deal, how I stay coming back. I be on third, nigga chilling with his ramen. Still breathing with the homin. They call me king up to the point that is coming. My killer queen head game. Bombing it. The Splatoon 3 Splatfest world premiere just occurred a little bit ago, and Rock 1, fuck you, I know it should be meme teamed. Anyways, I had a fucking blast. I got to play a ton, especially with my good friend and Velo VTuber Caro. I'll leave a link in the description, so go follow them on Twitch and show them your support, please. As well as some other friends of ours. I sadly was unable to record it all, and while it was a fun time, I do have a few wishes, however. Nothing game breaking, but to the point where I worry just a tiny little bit for the game coming out in about a month at the time you're recording this, because I'm recording this um, at the end of August, shortly after the Splatfest ended for context. But let's talk about that before I even talk about what I believe to be the good, the bad, the stupid, and the funny. I want to talk about how expansive the demo's weapon selection was, because it was fucking insane. It had a lot of weapons for you to choose from. Each weapon you could use had the base, as well as one variation, as well as the two Splatoon 3 new and original weapons, the Splatana and the Stringer, which we'll talk a bit more about later. For now, we'll start with the positives. For one, I think the UI and general aesthetic of the game is really nice. Excuse me, it feels fun to play. A lot of the sub weapons and special weapons are a real blast. My personal favorite being the Zipper Fist, just because of how ridiculous it is. The music is great, and when the full game comes out, I definitely can't wait to hear more of it. The customization for your England and Octoling are really nice, and even adding more hairstyles for the Octolings, and allowing you to have a certain hairstyle in a girl Octoling that in Octo expansion were male exclusive, like the Afro and vice versa. The weapons have a nice feel to it, the new hub world Splatsville is very big and very expansive, and it looks really good. I imagine it'll be even bigger in the full game. The maps are nice to play on and explore, and if you saw my Splatoon 3 reaction, you'll know that a big, kind of, a tiny little downside to me was the small amount of maps that I can have at base, but they even said they're going to be added more as the game goes on. So there'll definitely be more maps, some good, some bad, but the ones we got to play on for the demo and rotation were fun, they were nice. I could keep going on and on and on with the positives a lot, but we're gonna stop here and move on to some things that I think are a bit of a downside of that. First and foremost, the fucking Trizooka! The Trizooka is a triple shooting ink bazooka special weapon, and it is fucking stupid! The reason I think it's stupid is because if I shoot someone head on or from point blank with a goddamn bazooka, they should fucking die! In one match, I shot someone dead on and they somehow survived. If I shoot someone with a bazooka dead on, they should die. They should be dead. They should not survive. They should cease to fucking exist. <laughs> And the thing that makes it even worse for me is the fact that someone else even tried this out and sure enough, he had the exact same fucking thing happen. We were talking about this on Carol's live stream, but it worked properly in the fucking training room. In the fucking training room, if you shoot something dead on with a fucking trizooka, it dies. And the reason that it, one of the dummies, if you shoot it dead on with the trizooka, it fucking explodes instantly, it's done, the GG, it's over, the dummy's gone. The reason why this is a problem is because the, tr the, the the training room, right, that shows you how the game, how the weapon is supposed to work. If the Trizooka works that way in the training room, why in all fucking hell does it not work that way in the actual game? That's my fucking question. If it works one way in the goddamn training room, which is how it's supposed to work, why does it not work that way in the damn game? <laughs> Hello, hey, hi, it's me. Uh, this is Editing Jet. I noticed something while recording this video, but in the background, you actually see me get a kill with the uh, Ink Zooka. And 
You also see me get splatted by a head-on shot from the Inkzuka right after, shortly before that. And in the background, right now, I don't know if it's happened yet, but in the background, I get splatted by, again, a head-on shot by the Inkzuka, which essentially proves it null and void. It does work, but it is annoying. Apparently, it seems like all three shots need to hit the same target in order for it to insta-kill, otherwise it relies mainly on splash damage. I'm not entirely sure, but I was wrong, I'll, I'll hold that, I'm a ho that's an L, I'm just gonna have to hold it, I'm take it, take it on the chin, sometimes you take L, sometimes you're just wrong, but it happens, hey, anyways, moving on, continuing with the video, goodbye. Personally, I just kind of have to be kind of fucking stupid, and I feel like it's a big time lack of lack of hindsight. So that that's a bit of an issue. And I feel like that 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 needs to, that needs to be fixed. That is something that should not be there. Either the dry zuka shouldn't kill on impact the training room, or it should kill dead on on impact in the fucking game. Because the fact that it does one in one and another in the other is fucking stupid because if it works that way in the training room you're gonna go into the game expecting it to work that way but it doesn't you're fucking wrong it does not work that way at all actually it couldn't work farther from that way actually <laughs> but uh keeping on the topic with the weapons some of the main weapons are not that fun to play i'm not a huge fan of say the dynamo roller any of the charges etc and the reason it blows a little bit for me is because a lot of the sub weapons or special weapons are paired with are great and I love them. But in order to use some of them, I have to use the main weapon I'm not a huge fan of. I imagine this will change in the main game where you can change skills and mix match as well as the different varieties of weapons. But it is something I noticed while playing the Splatfest demo. However, on the flip side, some of the special weapons seemed kind of cool, but the actual game, the actual game, they were kind of lame. Like the crab tank. If you saw my Splatoon 3 reaction video, you know that I was very, very interested in the crab tank because it looked really cool. However, in the game, it was kind of lame. Not terrible, but it was a bit more underwhelming than I expected it would be. I did get some pretty sick ass clips like and with it though. Like, just 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 watch this one for example. It was really I really like it. It was really fucking funny. <laughs> Another issue is the ability to join rooms, because if you make a team, everyone shouldn't need to close the game and reopen it just to get someone back into the lobby, namely if they aren't in a match yet, and they're just searching. This isn't really a big deal for me, like the Ink Bazooka, but it is a slight annoyance as it takes a bit of time away from playing the game to take a few minutes to have to boot up the game again just to keep playing online with the same group. Again, not a major issue, just a slight annoyance I wanted to poke at. One last thing I want to point out, which is very stupid and kind of funny, that Carol found out and subsequently the last of us followed suit, at least once to see if it was true, you can shoot yourself off the edge of the new spawn. I'm not even gonna elaborate any further, I'm just gonna play the damn clip. That's, that's all I have to say, just, just roll the damn clip! Roll the damn clip! <laughs> get like three seconds to react before you just fall and frankly I thought that was kind of funny aside from that there's no issues I have that I feel I was mentioning and as I imagine most of the issues I have will be fixed quote unquote the moment the full game is released as they mostly come about due to the fact that it was a demo and was pretty expensive. I want to end this video off by talking about the two new weapons this Splatoon 3 Splatfest demo arrived to play with. The Stringer and the Splatana. 
The Tri-Stringer is a mid-range bow weapon which you can charge and fire 3 shots at once. Rate of fire isn't crazy high and doesn't do a crazy amount of damage, as well as mainly on splash damage as opposed to main damage. It's a solid weapon, all things considered, but not my go-to. I definitely use it, but not as much as other weapons, mainly. The Splatana is, as the name implies, a katana which takes three regular swipes or two charge strikes from a distance to kill. Up close, however, it only takes one charge shot to kill. It makes sense why it does less damage from a distance, though it is a katana, but I'm glad it does a tiny bit of damage in here. It's a fun, close range weapon to use, and of the two new additions that I'm more allowed to try, it's definitely my preferred choice of the two. Now, I'll definitely be using it a lot more when the full game comes out. And any variations that come with it, I'll definitely be giving those on the card as well. I think that's where I'm gonna cut this for now, though, frankly. I'm still very excited for the game, even with my issues, and can't wait for it to be released next month. The game was generally really fun to play, I can't wait to hear more of the game's soundtrack, like I said earlier, I'm really excited to experience the game's story mode. Genuinely speaking, I am very excited for the release of this game, and you can definitely expect videos on this game when it comes out, but I'm gonna stop wasting your time now. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you did like the video, do all that. If you didn't like the video, you can tell much how much I suck as both a VTuber and a YouTuber in the comment section down below. I'm going to stop wasting your time. Peace out and enjoy yourself.